T-Series, Super Cassettes Industries Private Limited, doing business as T-Series, is a music record label and film production company in India founded by Gulshan Kumar in 1983. It is primarily known for Bollywood music soundtracks and indie pop music. As of 2014, T-Series is India's largest music record label, with up to a 35% share of the Indian music market, followed by Sony Music India and Z Music. T-Series also owns and operates the most viewed and most subscribed channel on YouTube, with over 95 million subscribers. Kumar, initially a fruit juice seller in Delhi, founded T-Series to sell pirated Bollywood songs before the company eventually began producing new music. Their breakthrough came with the soundtrack for the 1988 Bollywood blockbuster Kermit Se Kermit Tak, composed by Anand Miland, written by Majaru Sultan Buri, and starring Amir Khan and Juhi Chala, which became one of the best, selling Indian music albums of the 1980s, with over 8 million sales. They eventually became a leading music label with the release of Ashikwi, 1990, composed by Nadeem Shravan which sold 20 million copies and became the best-selling Indian soundtrack album of all time. However, Gulshan Kumar was murdered by the Mumbai Mafia Syndicate D Company in 1997. Since then, T-Series has been led by his son Bushan Kumar and younger brother Krishan Kumar. On YouTube, T-Series has a multi-channel network, with 29 channels that have more than 140 million subscribers as of January 2019. The company's YouTube team consists of 13 people at the T-Series headquarters. The company's main T-Series channel on YouTube primarily shows music videos as well as film trailers. It became the most viewed YouTube channel in January 2017, with over 66 billion views as of the 1st of April 2019. The T-Series channel primarily features content in the Hindi language, in addition to Urdu and Punjabi language content. While they have other channels that also feature content in other Indian languages such as Tamil, Telugu and Sanskrit. History. T-Series was founded on the 11th of July 1983 by Gulshan Kumar. At the time an obscure fruit juice seller in the Daraiganj neighborhood of Delhi, the company initially sold pirated Bollywood songs prior to releasing original music. Back then, the Indian audio cassette market was small scale with widespread piracy, but there was growing demand for cassette music. According to Radif, while Kumar was involved in piracy, he was passionately market and consumer driven. The company also took advantage of loopholes in copyright law allowing for the release of cover versions of songs, which T. Series would then flood the market with. Researchers Lawrence Liang and Ravi Sundaram wrote, T. Series was a profoundly disruptive force in the Indian music market in large part because it was a tremendously successful pirate. The company built its catalog through a variety of quasi-legal and illegal practices, engaged in more straightforward copyright infringement in the form of pirate releases of popular hits, and it often illegally obtained film scores before the release of the film to ensure that its recordings were the first to hit the market. Kuma discovered that there was also a market for devotional music, and began recording and selling it. Kumar noticed that many elderly Hindu followers could not read hymns and chants because of failing eyesight. So Kumar hired singers to record the chants and sold them as cheap cassettes. Later, he filmed major Hindu pilgrimages in India and sold them on VHS and video cassette tapes. T-Series first original film soundtrack release was for Lalu Ram in 1984, with music scored by Ravindra Jain. The company's breakthrough came when it released the soundtrack for the 1988 Bollywood blockbuster Kermit Se Kermit Tak, also known as QSQT. Directed by Mansur Khan and starring Amir Khan and Juhi Chawla, the Kermit Se Kermit Tak soundtrack, composed by Anand Milind and written by Majaru Sultan Puri, became the best-selling Indian soundtrack album of 1988 and one of the best-selling Indian soundtrack albums of the 1980s. With more than 8 million units sold, the biggest hit song from the album was Papa Ki Tain, sung by Audit Narayan and picturized on Amir Khan. T-Series founder Gulshan Kumar soon played a key role in Bollywood's cassette boom of the late 1980s with his affordable T-Series albums. T-Series later became a leading music label with the release of Ashikwi, 1990, directed by Mahesh Bhatt, the Ashikwi film soundtrack album, composed by the duo Nadeem Shravan. 
sold 20 million units in India, and is the best selling Bollywood soundtrack album of all time. A cover version of Dear Dear from Ashikui was later sung by Yo Yo Honey Singh and released by T Series in 2015. T Series was largely responsible for sparking a boom for the Indian music industry in the early 1990s. Many of the best selling Bollywood music albums of the 1990s, particularly those composed by Nadeem Shravan, were released under the T Series label. Besides music production, the company also began venturing into film production. The annual earnings of T Series grew from 20 crore, $16 million in 1985 to 200 crore. $88 million in 1991, and by 1997 had reached 500 crore, $140 million. In 1997, T-Series founder Gulshan Kumar was murdered by the Mumbai Mafia Syndicate D Company. His assassination also led to T-Series losing its most prolific musicians at the time, Nadeem Shravan. Due to Nadeem Akhtar Safi initially being accused of involvement in the murder, before later being exonerated. After Gulshan Kumar's death in 1997, the company has since been led by his son Bushan Kumar, with the help of Gulshan's younger brother Krishan Kumar, as a film production company. The highest grossing T-series film production to date is the critically acclaimed sleeper hit Hindi Medium, 2017, written by Zeenat Lakhani, directed by Sakur Chowdhury, and starring Ifan Khan and Sabo Kumar. It grossed 322.4 crore. $50 million worldwide, with $34 million in China alone, becoming one of the top 20 highest grossing Indian films of all time. One of the most expensive Indian films will be T-Series is Soho, a sci-fi thriller with a production budget of 300 crore, 42 US dollars million, scheduled for release in 2019. T-Series is also producing a biopic film based on the life of its founder Gulshan Kumar called Mughal, which is currently under production and is scheduled for release in 2019. YouTube presence see also, PewDiePie vs T-Series T-Series joined YouTube on the 13th of March 2006, but only started uploading videos in late 2010. Under this channel, T-Series primarily shows music videos and film trailers. By July 2013, it had crossed 1 billion views becoming the second Indian YouTube channel to cross the milestone after Rajshree Productions. In January 2017, T-Series surpassed PewDiePie to become the world's most viewed YouTube channel, and as of the 8th of February 2019 it has over 60 billion views. The T-Series YouTube channel is run by a team of 13 people at the T-Series headquarters. The YouTube channel has exceeded 91 million subscribers, making it the most subscribed YouTube channel from the 28th of March 2019 to the 1st of April 2019, with more than 44,000 more subscribers than Swedish YouTuber PewDiePie. When it reached 50 million subscribers, the channel received a custom Ruby Play button on the 10th of September 2018. It is also the second channel ever to hit 70 million subscribers. Beyond this, the channel earns an average of nearly 150,000 subscribers a day. T-Series channel also owns a multi-channel network, with 29 channels, which include YouTube channels such as T-Series Tamil, T-Series Telugu, and Bollywood Classics. On top of this, 6 of their channels are among the top 100 most subscribed channels in India, including T-Series, Bhakti Sega, Apna Punjab, T-Series Regional, Lahari Music, and T-Series Telugu. T-Series 29 channels accumulated a total of more than 100 million YouTube subscribers as of November 2018. During January-July 2018, T-Series earned an income of 720 crore, 100 US dollars million from YouTube. The most popular T-Series artist on YouTube is Guru Randawa, whose 2017 song The Hawk has crossed 700 million views on YouTube. The growth of T-Series YouTube channel has been attributed to India's emerging online population. India currently has 500 million internet users and this number is expected to grow rapidly. A major breakthrough in India's internet growth came in September 2016 with the advent of 4G network Reliance Geo, offering data at very low costs. 
India has since emerged as the world's second largest online population behind China, where YouTube is blocked, with YouTube alone having over 225 million monthly Indian users. India's high demand for YouTube content and the lack of local content creators has contributed significantly to the rapid growth of T-Series. The growth of T-Series is also attributed to its growing audience outside of India. About 40% of the channel's traffic comes from outside of India, including 12% from the United States. The majority of the channel's overseas viewers belong to the global South Asian diaspora. More recently, the channel's overseas viewership has increased further, as a result of attention and controversy drawn to the channel by foreign YouTubers such as PewDiePie and MR Beast. On the 22nd of February 2019 at 6.04am, T-Series surpassed PewDiePie for the first time to become the most subscribed YouTube channel, with PewDiePie regaining the spot 8 minutes later. T-Series overtook PewDiePie in a similar manner many more times over the following weeks, and on the 27th of March, finally gained and maintained, until the 1st of April, the top spot by a fluctuating, but overall growing, margin. Legal in November 2007, T-Series filed a lawsuit against YouTube for infringing on the copyright of its music by allowing users to upload videos of its music onto YouTube, which could be accessed for free, and obtained an interim order against YouTube from the Delhi High Court, which restrained YouTube from infringing on its copyrights. T-Series and YouTube settled out of court in January 2011. On the 10th of April 2019, T-Series allegedly started to seek court orders to remove PewDiePie's diss tracks from YouTube. According to entertainment and law website Ipremend Law, T-Series sought out a court order from the Delhi High Court to remove PewDiePie's bitch lasagna and congratulations diss tracks from YouTube. The alleged court order was ruled in favor of T-Series. It was allegedly said that the complaint against Kjellberg claimed that his songs were defamatory, disparaging, insulting, and offensive and noted that comments on the videos were abusive, vulgar, and also racist in nature. Trading name. T-Series type, private industry, entertainment founded, the 11th of July 1983, 35 years ago in Delhi, India founder, Gulshan Kumar headquarters, Moida, India key peoples, Bushan Kumar chairman and managing director, Krishan Kumar, Niraj Kalam services, music record label, Film production owners, Gulshan Kumar 1983-1997, Boshan Kumar 1997-present YouTube channel, T-Series years active, 2006-present genre, music videos, film trailers subscribers, 95.6 million the 24th of April 2019, total views, 67.2 billion the 12th of April 2019, website, tseries.com. Please subscribe Wiki Audio YouTube page below. Click notification or bell icon to get future videos uploaded as instant notification. And write your valuable comment, suggestion, feedback to improve in future videos. Check out channel page to get more videos and share this channel to your friends and relatives.